meet tomorrow, and it is said inflation is transitory, quote unquote. But one of our next guests says the Fed is wrong. High inflation already here, as much as eight, actually 8.1 percent. So might he be right? Well, let's talk. Stephen Cunningham of the American Institute for Economic Research, and our pal Brian Westbury, chief economist, first trust advisors. Stephen, with a cheap dollar and boodles of money creation at a very high gold price. I want to believe that inflation is stronger than the Fed is telling us, but 8%, that one's a little bit uh, incredulous. <laughs> yeah. What's your take? Well, Why is it, it 8%? Uh, it sounds a bit extreme. Well, we had a lot of people who said to us exactly what you just said. It doesn't seem right. The, the inflation I seem to experience every day in the economy, when I go to the, the gas pump, when I go to the grocery store, it seems to be quite a bit more than what the Bureau of Labor Statistics is telling us. We decided to see if we could validate that experience. We built an everyday price index, which is made up of goods and services that you buy day to day, frequently. And we found that those prices indeed do go up. Uh, last year they went up uh, uh, on average uh, over 8%, a little over 8%, which is about Stephen? two and a half times what the average inflation rate was for CPI. Go ahead, Brian. Go ahead, Brian. Yeah, yeah well, I was just going to say, so let's just say inflation was 8%. I, I, I don't agree with that, but let's just say it is. Last year, GDP, re, uh, uh, nominal GDP went up about 4.2%. So what you're saying is then real GDP, uh, after you adjust for inflation, it was minus four percent so it, that doesn't seem to square with the other data because we're creating jobs durable goods are up tomorrow we're gonna get a really good retail sales number I mean how how you're basically saying that the economy is in one of the worst recessions it's ever been in on a real basis and I, I, I don't in oh. the other data actually 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 I, I agree with you our index is not a measure of, a broad-based measure of of consumer inflation. In fact, if I was going to deflate the GDP numbers, I would do it with a GDP deflator. I'd want something even broader. Uh, this index is to try to capture everyday experience. It does not include a lot of durable goods purchases. It doesn't include uh, a lot of things like refrigerators and automobiles and things people do buy, but they don't buy them every day. And so they get sticker shock when they go to the store and they find out the groceries are a lot more expensive than they expected, or they go to fill up their tank with gas and find out yeah. that gasoline is a lot more than well, Brian, expected. Brian, let That's me just, what let me we're just, measuring. Brian, let me look at this for one second because, all right, the everyday right. price index, interesting concept. Groceries, medical right. care, uh, cable TV, and telephones. But look it, you know, year to year change in energy, 6%. Right. Year to year change in food, 4.5%. Year to year change right. in gasoline, almost 10%. And you know, right. I, I don't have to defend 8% every day, but cheap money, excess money created, cheap right. dollar, excess money, very high gold price. I mean, right. Steve Cunningham could be very futuristic, Brian. <laughs> That's all I'm he, saying. He, well, Hey, I, hey, I'm not saying inflation won't be in, in a bigger problem than the Fed thinks in the years ahead. I go back to the 1970s. That, that Fed kept telling us inflation wasn't a problem. It was all transitory back then. And it, and it turned out that we had 12, 13 percent inflation. I, we could get there. I just don't think we're anywhere near that today. Um, and the Fed can still stop us from getting to that point. And so I guess this is great. What I, what I worry about Steve is that people take that number 8% and there's all these inflationistas out there and people that are convinced we're going to have a collapse of the dollar and hyperinflation and they run with that number and that's what bothers me about it real way to measure Steve inflation. Cunningham, Steve Cunningham, he, Brian may be talking about that, me. He may be talking about me. I mean I want, the, I want the dollar to be 20% higher. I want gold to be 20% lower. Steve Cunningham last 25 seconds I'll give you the last word. Is inflation going up? That's the key point we do believe inflation is going up uh, we we think that uh, money creation has been substantial uh, we have uh, 1.5 trillion dollars right. in excess reserves sitting in banks right. we that's think the, the risk of inflation is substantial thank you very much everyday inflation brian westberg great to see you that's it for tonight's show great thanks for watching everybody yeah i'd like to see a stronger king dollar